Hi, I'm Janet Skates, and welcome back for another video in our journaling series on YouTube. Yesterday, a lot of people asked me, if we're not children, can we do the project too? And this project is for anyone and everyone. So get out your paper, and if you are working with markers or colored pencils or just a pencil or magic marker, Get that out and we will get started. Uh, the, the idea for today comes from a friend of mine on Facebook who had the great suggestion to make a card for someone that you can't uh, be with right now in person that you want to say hi to or hello to. So what we can do is make a card and then have someone take your picture or take a selfie with your card and you can share it with friends and family no matter where they are around the world. I'm beginning with a pencil and I am going to write hello on my, on my card, just hello, and then we're going to add some flowers. So if you're not writing yet, if you're not uh, writing in school yet, you don't have to put a word. You could put a fun animal or a happy face, whatever you want to put in the middle, and then we're gonna add some flowers. So I am gonna start with hello. H-E-L-L-O. And then I'm gonna write over my hello again. Like I'm tracing it, but not quite that, not quite that particular. Then I'm going to add some flowers, or you could add whatever you think of when you think of spring. Flowers or animals, uh, leaves, trees. I'm going to do some flowers. I love flowers. And I'm doing my flowers the same way I do my letters. So I make the petals. These are just fun, fun wonky flowers. Don't worry about them being all perfect. Remember what we talked about yesterday. It's not about making it perfect, it's about making it fun. So, I'm making fun flowers and I'm doing like I did with my letters. I'm going over each line that I make a second time. And I'll show you why here in just a few minutes. There are flowers blooming all around where I live now. I'm in the United States and it is almost spring here. And there are daffodils and tulips. The trees are budding out. It is really, really pretty. So here I'm gonna do some fun like tulip flowers. All right. And then I'll do the same over here. Flowers are fun because you can make them any way that you want to. And then I think I'll put just a little row of circles across the bottom. And then I think I'll put a little bird down here on mine. I, I was painting birds yesterday. So I'm gonna add a bird here. She needs a little funky hair there. So this will be our bird. Okay, so once you've finished whatever you want to draw here, I'll add a couple of leaves up here real quick and everything in two lines. Then we're gonna get out our markers or our colored pencils, whichever one you have. And you can use any colors that you want to. Have fun and make it whatever are your favorite colors or whatever you think the person that you're making it for will enjoy. 
So I'm gonna use some pinks because you guys know I love pink and I'm gonna start with pink and maybe even a little um, light orange. In fact, I think I'll start with, let's see, I'll start with the pink. So here, I'm gonna come in with my marker and where my lines cross over in my letters, I'm gonna fill in with one color of my marker. And this does not have to be perfect. Have fun with this. Don't worry about the lines. Don't worry about staying in the lines. This is just for fun and it's going to make somebody really happy and make them smile super big. I know. So I'm just choosing some of my lines where I've crossed over, I'm coloring in the space between. But not all of them, just some of them. And you'll see why here in just a minute. I thought it was super fun yesterday that a lot of adults asked if they could join in on our project. Adults love and need art just like children do. They sometimes forget about it. Okay, so I'm gonna come in now with the orange. I'm gonna fill in some of the other spaces. This is fun with colored pencils too. Mm. All right, and then I'm gonna take my red now and I'm gonna go over some of the places where the letters overlap. Just picking out some little spots where they connect and actually going over the colors that I had first put on. Pretty, pretty, pretty spring. It looks kind of like ribbon, really fun. Now I'm gonna start on my flowers. And I'm gonna do the flowers the same way that I did the, uh, the letters. I'm gonna color in the spaces. So just start wherever. And you can choose which, each section to color that you want and whatever color you want to color it. These are Tombow markers. That's the brand name of them. And so they have a little brush tip. It's kind of like painting with a paintbrush. But you can use any kind of marker. And crayons would also be super fun on this project. Oh, I forgot to do the double line on this one. So I'm gonna come back with my pencil and just real quick, add it in. I'm 
Now you see why we did different, different, um, different lines. What we're using that for. So let's see. I want to use now. I think a fun yellow would be really pretty. Mm, maybe a brighter yellow. Sometimes you have too many colors to choose from. Oh, here's a pretty pencil. I'm gonna use this, this uh, magenta pencil. fun to mix pencil and marker and colored pencil as well because you get a completely different look on each of your your different flowers and parts I think my tulips are going to be red though I love red tulips. So I'm gonna grab a red here. And while I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna go ahead and do my tulips in red. And I think I'll go ahead and paint some stems on my tulips. Get some leaves. Tombow markers are fun too because you can take a paintbrush with water on it and you can kind of use them like watercolors. So that makes them fun as well. I'm gonna use, I think I'll use a different green and do some little leaves up here too. I hope that while you're working on your paper, you're thinking about people that you want to share it with and thinking good thoughts and happy thoughts about those people. It's hard to be away from people that we're used to seeing a lot. It's, it's a change for all of us, but this will give you something happy to think about them.
I'm going to take a black marker and I'm using this smaller tip now and just go around the edge of the middle of the flowers where I drew the second circle. So they'll really stand out on the paper. It's also really pretty to write your word in black. I didn't today, but you can write your word or draw your flowers in black and that makes it really, really striking as well. I like that, but that's almost the same color that I used earlier, so I'm going to choose something a little different. There we go. A little bit lighter, lighter color. probably hear the sirens and maybe the birds in the background of my video. My windows are open because it is very warm here today. It was storming this morning and raining really hard and now it's warm and sunny outside and then it's going to storm again tonight and be super cold tomorrow. <laughs> so such is spring. So relaxing to sit and color. I hope that you're having fun sitting and coloring your picture and you're not in a rush. You don't have to work as fast as I'm working on your, on your picture. You can take all the time you want and you can make more than one if you want to. Maybe you want to say hello to different people in different ways or maybe someone you know has a birthday today and you want to wish them a happy birthday. You can make a birthday card for them. She's so cute. Look at her. And then let's a little beak. And some feet. Let's see. And then I've got some I'm gonna do some, I think I'll do green, little green dots here across the bottom.
Now, if you have a jelly roll pen or some whiteout or um, I'm going to use a Posca pen. Hold on, I'm going to get my Posca pen. It's just a water-based, little water-based marker. If you have it, if you don't, it's totally fine. But I'm going to add some little dots on my bird's eye to make her really pop. That one might be empty. There we go. Make her little eye pop. Well, that's not gonna work right now. I think it's wet. We'll let it dry for a second and then we'll try it again. In the meantime, I wanna take the black and go around some things on the black. I like the way that looks. So if you want to take your black pen and loosely go over what you already drew, If you haven't started yours yet and you're watching first, I would go ahead and just draw with your black because I really like the way that looks. But I didn't think about it until after. <laughs> so I'm just going over mine now. So you can do either way. Or you might want to go over yours in a different color purple or blue or maybe you've got some glitter pins and you want to add some glitter fun to yours too. You could do that as well. Lots and lots of options here. Super fun. You could even go back and color in some of the areas where you went in with your marker again. Now, I'm gonna try the Posca pen again on her eye. Let's see. There we go, look at that. Now we've got a pretty little bird eye. And then, for even more fun if you want you can take a different colored marker or paint pen I'm gonna grab a paint pen because mine's still wet or if you have a jelly roll pen or something else you want to try well then I'm getting colors here seeing what colors I have handy organizing today <laughs> so you could take a paint pen 
and add some fun little details on your bird. And just play with it, just whatever patterns you want. You could add stuff in the background if you want. Um, it's really just up to you. I'm happy with this. I'm liking it where it is. I think I will take the black marker and add a few little fun dots around here. And you could go around the edge if you want to and make a little fun little edge on your card. The most important thing is seeing your work is going to make someone smile. And that's the most important thing. How's that? I hope that you have fun with this and I hope that you do more than one. These are really fun. You could spend some time and keep coloring and add details and try doing it different ways. But this is our project for today and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I'm sending out love and light your way. Thank you.